This is a Dragon's Den event today. We're taking students outside of the university environment and we're getting them to think about the skills that they're developing throughout the degree programme so that they can think about packaging those for future employers. We've got this business guru arriving, a chap called Peter Kerr. He's going to pitch two businesses and you as psychologists have to pitch for work to help develop the products that he will present to you. You're thinking, I'm not going to be great at it, but you will be fantastic at this by the end of the day. In an academic environment, you study why we do the experiments that we do, but actually they are viable ways of finding out information in the real world. Business can get them going and we can get results out of them. This is a great opportunity for them to think about the skills that they have and use those skills in everyday life. Psychology is the study of human behaviour, study of the mind, and this enables businesses to target the right products at the right people to sell as much as possible. We know they're entering a competitive workforce and I think it's really helpful that we ensure our students go forward into the workplace knowing the skills they have to sell to potential employers. What people want to see is that you've done some thinking, that you've got the background right. In business environments you're always working within a team and it's useful to develop these skills. You get a different experience and something that adds to your course. We quite quickly became colleagues and we're currently producing work that I don't think I could have produced on my own in a very short amount of time. You'll have 10 minutes to pitch, no more. A point worth making for what you guys are about to do when you're going to do your pitches to us. People buy people. When you come to days like this it broadens your horizons. I can do lots of different things with the skills I have from my degree. Education is about lighting a fire, not filling a bucket. And I think things like this light the fire and get the imagination going.